Yeah. Hats don't fit me right though. It's like it always like has this like Sylvester Stallone over the top look to me. You know, like oh yeah, just really <laughs> bad. It's like a switch. <laughs> Plant time. Here we go, boys and girls. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey everybody. Oh sorry, just happy. It's sunny. It's like 80 degrees in the Chicagoland area. It's just crazy how we went from snow and rain for months and months and months to now just all of a sudden 80 degrees. But I'm super excited. I'm back out here with my boy Chris Hansen. He's left. <laughs> Maybe he's not my boy anymore. And we are back out here in Bartlett. Last time we were out here, we were working on a fire rock carved into the patio. And so we've jumped ahead a little bit. I forgot to film some of the steps, but let me just recap a little bit of what we've done and then show you what our plan is for today. So if you can remember, this was that fire rock. We've got that carved right into the patio. All they've got to do is trim the liner up into here. Super important guys, if you're ever gonna do this and carve it in so water comes up the face of it, you have to make sure the bottom of this rock, this rock here, the bottom of the fire rock, is above water level. All of the components are inside of this, the control panel and everything, and if that gets wet, you're in trouble. Now those components sit about here on that, so we've got about an inch of water touching the base of that rock, and we should be okay. All those components then come out, so there's our gas line and our electric start over there. We're gonna get this all finished up today. We're gonna get these edges done, that waterfall foamed in, and then check out this waterfall here. So this was kind of a complicated waterfall, because granite boulders are just tricky to work with we wanted to create a big drop someplace give them that sheet of water water level is probably about there on this rock right in that area so we've got this granite boulder that we found with a flat edge a flat er edge anyways we're gonna get a lot of water falling off of that and then to give it just some character we're gonna split around this rock we're gonna get a little V waterfall coming through there and then if you noticed over here we took this rock instead of sitting it flat like this we leaned it a little bit this way so then we'll get another waterfall there so some of the water off of this rock should hit this roll this way come here then be also fed by this and this and we'll get two of those little horse tail or v style waterfalls coming through here and then a decent sheet of water coming off here now the one thing i really wanted to address because we kept talking about it for so long why did we set the biofall so far away rather than right up to the edge of the waterfall it does two things one it makes it a whole lot easier for me to build this waterfall because none of these rocks fit exactly right so i was constantly folding that liner back and forth, back and forth, carving these things into the place. If I was building this right up to the face of that biofalls, I don't have the luxury of taking that biofalls in and out, in and out, and getting it to fit here. I have to build the waterfalls according to the shape of that. So basically what I've done is eliminated a waterfall coming out of the biofalls. We just have soil coming back, and then I'm gonna set a stone right in here. That'll be about the same height of the biofalls. Give me more of an upper pool, a little babbly brook back there, and then let it come this way. It also then lets me hide that biofalls a whole whole lot easier because now it's so much further away from the main waterfall so I can get a big rock here we'll probably get another big rock right back in there and then with that upper pool feeding this you're not focused so much on the biofalls still leaving plenty of room for plants and everything else so today I'll get all of that foamed up we'll trim up all this liner bring in some black topsoil and hopefully have this whole section all the way up to the bridge finished today there he is move dirt but when I do I wear sunglasses
It's plant day. <laughs> so we stopped by, we had to get a couple plants before we move on with this project. And the reason we have to do that is because if I were to dig out the wetland right here and then where the spheres and another waterfall are gonna go, we will kill all of our main access to that backside. So we've just got some spring grove arborvitaes, also known as green giants, kind of going back in here. We have a flowery magnolia, another arborvitae, a big Norway spruce, and then we bought them kind of a surprise plant, one of my favorites, a Louisa crab apple. I just love the way it looks. I've got one at my house. It uh, looks stunning by the waterfalls, and I can't wait to see that thing as it just naturally gets kind of gnarly and hangs off this way and hangs off that way. How it's just gonna fill this whole space. It'll look fantastic. I got Mr. Hansen all dressed in his summer gear and a quick shout out to all you redheads I feel for you. You know when it's 90 degrees outside. <laughs> we don't really get like a base going We just burn and burn and burn. Tan, and we bake. burn and burn. We get different levels of red, right? And it goes from uh, like scorched earth to uh, <laughs> You know baby baby slap I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It just, it just hurts. Chris Chris was nice enough to get me some merch Hey, you guys want some merch? You know where to go look at uh, the link down below get yourself a team aquascape hat and uh, here we go you look shameless, it's, shameless plug yeah same yeah. <laughs> say it again shameless oh, look, plug. You got, look at this grill look at this thing look, yeah you, hats don't fit me right though it's like it always like has this like sylvester stallone over the top look to me you know like oh yeah just really bad. <laughs> it's like a switch <laughs> that's what i need today is the switch there it is plant time here we go boys and girls <laughs> Hanson, oh, Hanson, Hanson, A little bit of this bit isn't of bad, but we got some good soil that we're gonna bring in later. We'll talk about that when I have the energy to talk about it. How's it's the, good. It's good to mix the native soil with the yeah. the good stuff, you know. It's like acclimating fish. Yep. Right. It's right. Like acclimating, acclimating trees. Plants. So these are those mission arborvitaes. These are those spring grove or green giant. Got it. So these things get, uh, you know, unlike the compact ones, their branching structure is a little bit more airy and they'll grow more out like this and still stay in that pyramidal form. But the key thing is they'll touch each other. So in, I don't know, five years, we'll come back, we'll check it out and see what it looks like. You guys stay tuned. We're just doing a big hedge, a privacy hedge. Yeah. Good, so we got five going over here. You got two, yeah. three of them in. Another arb, magnolia arb. Ah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like a, uh -huh. All right, things are definitely coming together. It's amazing just how a few plants really start transforming things. But we got a Colorado blue spruce in there. We got our Louisa crab planted up in here. Again, that's just going to be so cool. We started bringing in some topsoil to kind of top dress everything, give some of these plants a chance. Obviously, we backfilled with some compost, that kind of stuff. We even started working on the pathway here. So we've got this all excavated out. This is going to be a crushed stone pathway. I love using the crushed stone. It's just simple. It looks great. It looks elegant, it's easy to maintain, and we can get it in black, which looks really cool, especially when you get green plants on it. The black just makes a, the plants pop. So we've got this secret pathway. The main pathway comes from up here, obviously from the patio. We're gonna try to get another step in here. It's gonna come over to here, and then Y off this way. This main pathway leads to the bridge that takes you over to the future patio and everything else over there by the edge of the pond. This side is a really narrow just a 30 inch wide pathway that's going to take you over to what i'm calling the meditation area so imagine this plant creeping over imagine that blue spruce getting really tall we'll probably do another spruce of sorts right in here eventually you know five eight ten years down the road i'd love to see these things kind of almost touching each other as you walk through this forest of green and the plants are hiding the final destination you'll come down into this sunken little meditative seating area down in here giving you a totally different perspective of the backyard kind of looking back up at the house 
So I love doing these things. Sometimes it leads to a fire pit. Sometimes it just leads to a resting area. Sometimes it leads to a veggie garden. In this case, it's just a place to kind of chill. So the key that's so sunny back here is to get a lot of shade type plants. I really want to get like a big maple or something in over here that can put a canopy out over the top of everything. Again, as that spruce gets bigger and another evergreen gets bigger there, maybe even do like a bald cypress or something over in here, really kind of hiding this whole space. So that's the plan today. Get some of the edging in, the steel edging, get some fabric down, some weed barrier in through here. You can see we've gotten our spring grove, green giant arborvitaes, the magnolia. We're top dressing with some soil. So all this has got to get kind of manicured over and through here. We have another Norway spruce going in there. And then I think the plan is to probably come over here and like I said finish that step and this pathway after that we can start our excavation it's a lot of work for two guys isn't it <laughs> but we love it and it's great that a customer like this allows us just to kind of run with things and doesn't really question too much just says yeah Bri yeah Chris whatever you guys think go ahead and do it what I would love to do though is because it is Thursday I would love to get this to the point where maybe Friday because they've been so patient remember we started this over five six months ago in November and then got pushed off because of winter April's been horrible because of the rain and cold and rain and cold it is mid-May and they still don't have a water feature up and running I would love to get at least this section running for them this weekend so they can sit out here and just kind of enjoy a piece of it of course I won't get to get the pond all the way filled up and the wetland done but if they can have something to give them a little sanity I think they'd appreciate it so that's our goal. We need those last four. Couldn't leave the little guys behind, right? <laughs> Always need more rock. So that rock there is going to help us kind of finish off some of these pathways. And then whatever's left over obviously is going to be used for the wetland and every other part of this project. But that's one of probably four more loads, five more loads that needs to come out here. Here we go. It's been, <laughs> it's been a long week, but I'm feeling pretty good. It is Friday. Chris and I were out here alone and it was in the upper 90s. Well, mid 90s, I'm not gonna exaggerate. It was like 95. I hate exaggerating, but you know how there's always that, like it feels like temperature. It felt like 400. Like it was definitely 400 degrees, no exaggeration. It, it was a feels like 400 degree temperature day. <laughs> but I think we did pretty good. We built a waterfall. We did some drainage. We set a fire rod. We finished pathways. We finished a secret patio. We planted a bunch of stuff. Let's just recap all that. And I just hooked up a pump so we could leave them with something over the weekend because we're not going to be back out here for at least, I don't know, well, I go to Utah. And so probably one more week and we'll have this thing finished. And they've been extremely, extremely patient. And so I just wanted to fire something up. But let's recap everything. We'll start here down at the bottom and then we'll get up to that waterfall and show you what it looks like. So we came down here. This is gonna be DJ's, well, and you know, I say DJ's, but maybe his wife is gonna use it. But this is definitely one of my favorite little areas. We got the steel edging all placed, all tacked down, everything else. We built this wall, we built those stone steps. We got all that taken care of. There's drainage underneath that that comes over to this. So that is all set. We put this spruce in, we put that white swamp white oak in, we put that Louisa crab, we put in all of those arbs, magnolias, Norway blue spruce. We put in two crimson king of maples. We finished this whole pathway up and through here. We just need all the stone chips to go on top. Came up and through here 
finished this pathway today. We got drainage work that goes underneath all this. Daylight's over there. That downspout's gonna feed into it. We finished this whole pathway. Like I said, we got that other maple in there. We did all of this edge work along here, which looks nice. All the edge work around the pond down there. We built these stone steps, and then we got that fire pit and this waterfall. So let's fire up this waterfall and see if it looks as good as we hope. All right, guys, here we go. Happy DJ. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I came back and put that pump on for them because they are ecstatic. They love it. I'm ecstatic. I'm happy that they enjoy it so much. I can't wait to get back out here and finish this. But that's a wrap for this episode, guys. Next step is to put that wetland filter and some spheres and stuff on. We've obviously got to seam some liner, dig a big hole, get a whole lot of soil out of here. But if you want to see that, you make sure you check in to the next episode where we're going to be fine-tuning all that kind of stuff, getting some grass and making it look pretty. You know the routine. You know what to do. Tell all your friends like comment subscribe tell me your favorite part and we'll do it again have a great day bye